Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Dick J. Wilson video. Uh, this time, and this will be kind of a, a longer video, maybe a shorter video, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna show you how to create gravity in Scratch, all right? So I already put uh, pre-filled some stuff in here, those first five blocks that go into Scratch, as well as uh, when you click on the green flag, your character moves left and right. Okay. Now, in order to create gravity, we have to, well, the first thing that we kind of want to do is we want to create ground. And uh, what some people do, some people will create the ground as a backdrop. Some people will create it as a sprite. Me personally, for this particular video, I'm actually going to create um, the, the ground as a sprite. And so I'm going to uh, make the color green. And then I'm going to draw my ground. Okay, so there's my ground. You want to make your ground as wide as possible. And I'm going to move it down here. Okay, so there is my ground. Now, that's actually going to be sprite number two. So I'm actually going to go back to the cat sprite because gravity is going to be affecting uh, the, the, the cat. So I'm gonna go back to my code and then I'm gonna create a couple variables, okay? So the first variable that I'm going to create is guess what? Gravity, gravity. All right, um, and I'm gonna make it available to all sprites. And then I'm gonna create another variable called velocity. Now we know that velocity is the speed at which something moves and gravity is, is a constant force, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our events and we're gonna click, we're gonna grab this tab. So when the green flag is checked, the first couple things we wanna do is we want to set gravity and we want to set velocity for whatever they're going to be. So for gravity, I'm gonna set gravity at negative point, let's say, let's say negative point three, okay? And then I'm gonna set my velocity for zero. All right, that's, that's I'm gonna leave that there, okay? So the, the greater the absolute value of your gravity, the faster something is going to fall. The lower the, 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 lower the amount of gravity, then the slower something's gonna fall, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my controls and then I'm going to grab that awesome forever block that we use in so many cool things. And then I'm also going to grab this if then else statement. OK, and I'm going to try and explain this to you um, how this actually works. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to say if I'm touching the ground, then gravity's not gonna have any effect, okay? So I'm gonna grab this sensing and I'm gonna put that here. And then, so if I am touching sprite number two, then gravity's not gonna have effect. I'm gonna pretty much just leave that blank. However, if I'm not touching the ground, which is the else, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my, um, velocity and my y position because we know our y position is our up and down okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to grab another one of my variables i'm going to set my velocity here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of our operators i'm going to set my velocity which is the speed at which i'm going to be falling to my velocity plus gravity. So I'm gonna go back to my variables. So set my velocity for, to velocity plus gravity, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to set my Y position or set, yeah, set my Y position To, again, I'm going to use one of my operators to my current Y position plus velocity. 
Sorry about that. That was a little glitch there in the system. But I'm going to set my Y position to what a good emotions. And then I'm going to grab my Y position. I'm going to put it there. And then so my Y position plus velocity. So here's what's happening here, okay? Before I click on the green flag. So what we did is we said, if we're touching sprite number two, which is the ground, then nothing's going to happen because my sprite's going to be on the ground. We don't want gravity to take effect. However, if we're not on the ground, then we're setting our velocity, which is the speed at which we're falling, to our velocity plus gravity. When we first start, we set our velocity at zero and our gravity at negative three. So as this program is running over and over and over again, really, really fast, right? You have the first time it runs, it's um, so velocity is zero plus negative 0.3. And then the second time it runs even fast at, so now my velocity is um, negative three plus negative three, which gives me negative six. And then the second time it runs that negative three, I mean that negative six, plus three, and which gives you negative nine, and then negative nine plus three. So what it does is it gives you the constant of uh, a uh, feeling that your sprite isn't just falling at a specific speed, but he's actually picking up velocity, picking up speed, okay? Just as you would if you were really falling, you don't fall at the, at, at a constant speed until you reach terminal velocity, okay? So with that, I hope that this, oh, let, me, let me show you. So when you click on the green flag, hey, he falls, all right? Now we click on the green flag again, continues to fall. Notice how um, he starts to fall slow and then picks up speed, all right? So there is uh, your video on creating gravity. Gravity! All right, again, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. When I send out uh, new videos and stuff like that, you will obviously be the first to get some of these awesome things. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, again, um, hashtag go build something cool. For real, for real, for real. All right, peace.